so it's finally Kaimito season. Look at all this fruit. And we even have a ripe one right here, ready to pick. Of course, I gotta cut it off. That's one of the things with Kaimito. You can't pull it off of the tree because the top of the fruit just pulls out. So every one of them gets cut from the tree uh, so that we can sell it to you without a hole in it. Last Saturday we started picking Kaimito, and yes, it was still February. My projection was that the tree was going to start fruiting, or the fruit on the tree was supposed to be ready in February this year. And it's late February, but yes, we have fruit. And as you might be able to tell, there's quite a bit of fruit. You know, there's a lot of green fruit up on the underside of that uh, whole branch there. And that's really good news. We have a lot of customers who have a special place in their heart for Cognito. And uh, this year, I think we're gonna be able to make a lot of people happy. You know, another name for Kaimito is Star Apple. And that's why the white flesh in the uh, middle of the fruit like has a star pattern to it. So that's fun. And anyway, uh, we try and pick the fruit when it starts coloring up on the tree because we have competition. And that competition is uh, mostly squirrels. That's what happens to Kaimita when it's, it starts smelling good on the tree and those squirrels have much better noses than we do. So, unfortunately we lost a few fruit here and there, but you know, we do try and stay on top of it. Uh, and so that we can have the most happy people out there that we can possibly have. So a lot of people wonder what Kaimito tastes like and you know the people who've grown up with it just love it they you know it's a taste that you know that they recognize it brings back old memories uh, but if you haven't grown up with it you know are you gonna like it what's it taste like well it's sort of a, a sweet creamy fruit and um, we just actually had a informal tasting I uh, didn't put it on video last, last Saturday, but I had put a Kaimito in the refrigerator for a few weeks. It keeps great in a refrigerator. Uh, one of our volunteers, Scott, uh, said he didn't really like the latex in the fruit. That was the only thing he didn't like. Uh, and so I knew the, <laughs> the solution to that. Uh, if you put it in the refrigerator, the latex just goes away. So. Uh, a couple volunteers and I tasted the same fruit and it really it tastes a lot like grape. It doesn't have the same consistency. Uh, it's a creamier uh, texture than the grape has, but you know, like it has the uh, flavors of a muscadine grape. But Scott really liked it uh, because the latex was completely out of it after being in the refrigerator for probably three weeks. Another thing to mention is if it isn't refrigerated, the latex is really close to the skin. So if you just avoid, <laughs> you can even see that right there. That's latex. Uh, so you just avoid that part and the inside of the fruit doesn't have that problem. But what we were doing uh, on Saturday was eating really the whole thing. I mean, really close to this, this thin skin on the outside. Everything was, latex free and tasting good. So last Saturday we had a few Kaimito to sell but we didn't announce it because we didn't want a stampede and a lot of disappointed people. So the people who did show up were pleasantly surprised. Now this next Saturday we're gonna have more fruit. Uh, it's not going to be peak season by any means but we're gonna have more fruit than we had last Saturday uh, so hopefully we'll have enough to go around. Uh, it looks like a good year for this tree, so we expect uh, for the amount of fruit that we have to offer to increase for several weeks. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to satisfy our customers with this tree this year. And this is the 
this tree unfortunately was knocked down by Hurricane Irma. Before that it was knocked down by Hurricane Wilma and uh, so it's sort of struggled along uh, and you know of course Hurricane Irma was just in 2017 in September so 2018 uh, in Kaimito season was just like you know five months later and we got essentially no fruit. Uh, 2019 wasn't great but it looks like a normal year now. I mean, the tree is just loaded with fruit and we're hoping that uh, you know we get to pick most of it and you know make people happy. But one of the things that we've noticed is that we keep getting more and more people who want a lot of Kaimito. And we just have this one tree producing. It's been a fine tree, uh, but it does seem like it, the demand it continues to increase. So I've actually planted three other varieties grafted trees. This one happened to be air layer, which is part of the reason it keeps getting knocked over by hurricanes. Um, not a great root system, but the other three grafted trees, and uh, they're three different varieties, and so in a couple of years we'll probably have four different varieties of Kaimito, and so that's pretty exciting. I can't wait to taste the differences between the different fruits.